Now, the slide uh, which we've all been waiting for and the assessment slide and uh, <laughs> when you see it up here in front of you, quite often it uh, it causes a little bit of student fear, uh, which is a term that I've coined. But I, uh, I'm, it's probably best to um, hand on it over to you, being that you're one of the tutors and, and lecturers um, and facilitators in this course. Talk to us about these assessments. And the list really isn't as quite as scary as it looks, is it? Oh, it's far from as scary as it looks. You know, it, it does look like a very scary list, doesn't it? Throughout the course, because we look at different aspects of accounting and bookkeeping, and we look at different aspects of work and how we go about our work. And, and like all vocational qualifications, Qualifications course is not just about knowing, but it's also about doing. So we utilise a number of different assessment methods in the course. So no student would ever come across all of these in one single assessment. So multiple choice question, multiple choice quizzes are often used as a review. So you get to the end of your unit and you might see a check your knowledge quiz. So you can check your own progress with your learning. Short answer questions, yes, they do appear in a number of assessments, but you know, short answer questions in our assessment process are also there as a as a review process for the student as well. Case studies and scenarios, well we utilise case studies and scenarios to encourage students to demonstrate to us or to explain to us or provide us with an example of what they would do in response to something that happened in then in a work in a normal work day. Projects could contain everything from writing a procedure to creating a flow chart to maybe doing a research task and reporting about what you found, creating some example reports for specific uses, for example, portfolios are collections of documents that we then reflect on and we talk about the, the put into our portfolio and how it relates to our workday. I can think of one assessment in particular where we ask students to find some examples of codes of practice and then we ask students to actually tell us what those codes of practice will mean to them in their working life as an accountant, as an accountant or a bookkeeper. Role plays, we don't utilise many role plays in this course but if a role play is utilised it would be in a live tutorial session, in a group situation where we might be pretending to be, one person might be pretending to be the bookkeeper and the other person might be pretending to be the bookkeeper's client, for example. So that's how we would utilise role plays and so on and so forth. So often students will come across two types of assessment, two types of assessment methods within an assessment, but it's really rare, James, that you would ever see any assessment that had all of these things in one. You know, we, we would never finish the assessment, so we would spend all of our time responding to one assessment instead of learning more in the next unit and in, in, in the next context in, that we were learning in about accounting. Excellent. So, so it's, it's probably more of an indicator of the breadth of assessments across the whole course rather than uh, what one would expect in one particular unit. In so many ways. <laughs> Excellent. <Most definitely. laughs>